Hi, Bill Bruner, LG Seeds Agronomist for Northern Indiana. Uh, I got a call this morning to come take a look at a field in northwestern Indiana, LaPorte County, uh, to see what was going on. Uh, hadn't seen this issue in this field before. Uh, this is 5618, which was planted in this field last year. This is third year corn in this field, so a little diagnosis lesson. Uh, that was information I got. You can take a look out across there. That's, that's what the farmer was seeing. Wonder what was going on. So, third year corn, strike number one. Light, sandy soil. Strike number two. A cool, wet spring. Strike number three. Irrigated. It's been irrigated over and over. So, it's been, uh, the moisture's been maintained. Uh, strike four, guess not really a big deal on that. Pretty rolling ground a little bit. So, come to the conclusion, most likely nematodes. Probably needle nematode in corn is the most uh, obvious um, diagnosis. I'm uh, sampling right now. I'm going to send some of this off. Uh, you should be using plastic bags. I'll transfer this into a plastic Ziploc when I get back to the truck, but that's what I have available. Um, this little sampling technique for nematodes is you need to get right up next to the plant. You need root tissue in your sample. So go right down underneath of it, pull it up and get your sample that way. Four or six inches. Uh, that includes some root matter in it because the nematodes will be inside the root and whatever lab you send it to, they will look inside the root for the counts as well. Um, the farmer's like, why didn't I see this last year and the year before? Same field, same hybrid, same everything. Uh, well, the conditions were different. Cool, wet, we had hot, dry. Uh, temperatures will push nematodes down. They don't like the heat. So it's been cool this year. It's light soil, or in, in color, it's not dark sand, it's light sand. And so they're happy as can be right in that root zone. So this, this is a perfect example of what nematode damage can do. So he's, what can I do to salvage this corn? Um, pray for mother nature, heat and sunshine. There's really nothing you can do. He's already thrown all the fertility and uh, everything else he can at it uh, for this year. And so just pray for sunshine and warmth to push him down. and. Uh, some good conditions so the corn can grow through it now it will be damaged i mean they're stunted uh, that's for sure but hopefully it can grow on through and the conditions will improve oh here's that thing was uh, rotation we'll rotate the soybeans this is third year corn this ground will not grow soybeans it's probably full of cyst nematodes as well he said i tried soybeans once and it they're miserable it's not even worth planting it so you have to rotate to a non-grass crop because any type of grass wheat rye whatever will be a host. The nematodes are just as happy as could be. It needs to be a legume, soybeans or alfalfa, something like that. One year rotation will do wonders for it as well. Um, the other option is, if you can get your hands on it, is counter insecticide. Insecticide boxes on the planter, if you have those. Counter works wonders uh, for t controlling nematodes. And of course, uh, Poncho 500 Votivo, and I believe this is probably 250 without Votivo. So that's it for today. Uh, nematology 101. And hopefully we don't see this uh, again next year. So signing off for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.